In this video, I'll show you how you can make cinematic videos with your Samsung Galaxy S23. I'll share with you the settings that I'm using, I'll share with you the gear that I'm recommending, and ultimately you will get results like you've seen in the beginning of the video. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, so before we get started with shooting, let's talk a little bit about the settings that I'm using for these kinds of videos. This video will not have any spoken audio, so that's why I'm shooting them at 60 frames per second, because this allows me in the post-production to slow down my shot and then I can just, you know, I just have more possibilities. So I'll just go into my camera app and I'm using now the standard video mode, not the pro video mode of dedicated video about this will come very soon. But on the top here, I'll just tap on FHD because by default, the S23 Ultra is just set to 1080p, which is just crazy in my opinion. So just tap on that and then you can see you have a bunch of different options and I'll pick UHD, which is 4K and 60 frames per second. Something that I would also recommend that you always do before you press the record button is that you lock your focus and the exposure. I'll just show you very quickly how you can do that. So basically just tap on the screen once then you can change the exposure to, you know, darken it or lighten the scene and then just tap on this lock and now your focus is locked and now you can start shooting. But these are basically the settings that I'm using for this video. I could be using the pro video mode, but I just wanted to show you like what is possible with just some regular settings. When it comes to the accessories for these kinds of videos, you could be doing them all just with your smartphone without any accessories at all. That should work just fine. But what I like to use for some shots, not all of them, but for some is a three axis gimbal. I'm using the Hoem iSteady M6, but basically you could be using pretty much any other gimbal that's on the market currently as well and i could also be using nd filters or cloud filters or whatever that's all fine and they will make the final video better but for this video i just wanted to show you what you can create with basically just your smartphone and a three axis gimbal but now let's get started so the first shot that we will get is the opening shot and when it comes to the opening shot this is in my opinion the most important shot because we want to get the attention of our viewers and we just want to you know, pull them into the video. And we will use the Carl's Church that's behind me. And I have already set up my gimbal. I'm shooting with the ultra wide angle lens in 4K at 60 frames per second. You know, something that I always like to do when I'm filming with my gimbal and the ultra wide angle lens is to have some sort of foreground. And my foreground will be this tree because when you have some foreground, you can just see the movement way better. So I'm in the pan tilt follow mode. I'm setting my focus and the exposure, just tap on it once, then lock it, hit the record button. I try to center the church in the dead center of the frame. And now let's move forwards. That is looking very good. Let's do it one more time, just to make sure maybe I will, I will do a tilt down and push in. That is looking very nice. And that's basically it. That's our opening shot. And now let's move on. So with this shot, what I'm trying is I found this pretty cool angle that you can see right now. I think this is looking pretty good and I'm just locking my focus and the exposure again. And then I will basically the plan is I will start off like this. Then I will pan down, walk through this, I don't know how it's called. And then I want to also film the Carl's Church once again. I don't know if it will work, but let's just try it out and see how it looks. This will definitely require a speed ramp afterwards if it will work. Maybe we'll use it, maybe not, but let's move on. So one of the most important things whenever you want to capture some epic b-roll shots is that you capture a large variety of different shots. So I have showed you the opening shot and also the second shot that we have tried there. But then afterwards, I also captured a couple of close-up shots with the 10x lens and also the 3x lens. I don't know if I will be using them, but that's just something to always keep in your mind. Just capture more than you think you will need because the worst thing that might happen is that you will not use the shots. But now let's move on. Yeah. 
One of the most important things for getting the most out of your travel or out of your B-roll videos is that you're using all the different lenses that your smartphone has to offer. Here the Galaxy S23 Ultra has four different lenses and it's important to also use all of them to get just a large variety of different shots so that the viewer does not get bored when they're watching your video. So make sure to use everything that your phone has to offer. So the one thing that is the absolute most important thing that you should remember out of this video, whenever you're capturing some B-roll in a city, film a lot more than you think. You cannot plan these videos, especially if you're walking around. So just film a lot more than you think you will need. Then you have the flexibility in the post-production to get a nice video like you have seen. All right, welcome to a very quick editing overview. I have been editing this video inside of Premiere Pro and you could even make a video like this on a smartphone, but more about that in a different video. So this is what the timeline looks like. And what I usually like to do is I like to create my timeline first and I created a 25 frames per second timeline. And this is in cinema 4K. So this is 4096 by 2160. After that, I imported all of the footage that I have created. I have the Samsung folder right here and these are all the different clips that I have created then I selected all of them and then I transformed them to 25 frames per second because if you remember I shot them at 60 and then I'm slowing them down so that I get this very nice slow motion effect that you have also seen in the final video after that basically I just watched all the different clips that I have captured and I picked the most beautiful shots or in my opinion the most beautiful shots and then I was just dragging them into the timeline and then basically I had a pool of different clips that I liked and then I just picked the most beautiful ones or the ones that I wanted to use for the final video. The one thing in my opinion that is probably the most important thing with these kinds of videos is music and sound effects and unfortunately this video is not sponsored by Artlist but I got the music and also all the sound effects from Artlist. I will link them down below anyways. If you are just starting out a timeline like this might might look a bit intimidating and you might be thinking like well it might take years until I can make a video like this but the good thing is these days editing is not as difficult as it used to be and there are plenty of awesome programs that help you and overall with this video it's actually very simple and there is not a lot of special effects going on or anything like this there are a couple of transitions but basically all the rest is just made basically in camera and then I was just speeding up the clips if you would like to to get a full in-depth breakdown of this edit inside of our smartphone filmmaking pro course we do have an in-depth 25 minute version of this editing breakdown where i just share step by step like how i created this video and why i made certain things and generally speaking if you would like to bring your smartphone videos to the next level you can click the first link below that like button that will bring you to our free webinar where i share the top five secrets for making cinematic videos with your smartphone comment below this video how you like the the footage of the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. I'm planning to make a full comparison versus the iPhone 14 Pro. So just comment below how you like it and what you would like to see in this video. But that's it for this video. In case you have not seen the video where I'm finding out which is the best smartphone gimbal in 2023, then click this video over there.